la hawla wa la quwwata illa billahi al-'ali al-'azim alhamdulillah praise be to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the most gracious the most merciful peace and salutations to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam to his family to his companion to his followers the followers of the followers and to those who strive in the path of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by following the sunnah of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam Alhamdulillah uh, We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala For allowing us To Join a session With uh, Muraddi Or forum with Muraddi tonight And uh, Alhamdulillah We are very grateful Because uh, We have uh, uh, Eminent Um scholars together with us inshallah and uh, we try as much as possible to uh, listen uh, to them as well as to uh, you know ask questions so um, i'm not going to prolong the muqaddimah of this um, program uh, as we know that this session or forum with murabbi is one of the programs in matlit 2020 2021 and uh, uh, today or tonight is the uh, second <coughs> session uh, after we had the uh, um, opening ceremony also uh, online uh, we had our president with us alhamdulillah and then uh, this afternoon we had uh, for a session with the counseling and now session with murabbi so brothers and sisters Uh, we are grateful because we have uh, honorable datuk hamid with us we have uh, respected ustaz fauzi and also we have uh, dr nit saiful azizi uh, with us the topic that we have tonight is insensitivity among students versus triple ice uh, brothers and sisters uh, we we know that to be uh, student leaders is not an easy job uh, we have uh, a lot of uh, challenges facing us and of course uh, in order to undertake this job we also need to have skills as well as uh, virtues and values which can help us to be a good leader and being a leader in uia or iom is also uh, another challenge whereby uh, we need to uh, what do you call it digest with the vision and mission of IUM so that uh, when we undertake our role as a leader we are able to to deliver uh, what IUM uh, has uh, put or underlined in the vision and mission of IUM brothers and sisters uh, probably some of students do not really um, taking care of this do not really uh, uh, what do you call it uh, uh, take seriously what is the mission and vision of iom uh, so in order to inculcate the values and virtues to be leaders as well as to uh, help uh, students as well as other you know other leaders as well among students so tonight inshallah we will try to get opinion from our experts as well as our murabbi so to speak brothers and sisters uh, okay for tonight's um, discussion inshallah uh, we are going to divide into three rounds right three rounds inshallah uh, we are now at 8:39 so uh, first round i will ask uh, every panelist uh, that we have here Uh, and then uh, they're going to have 8 uh, minutes to answer for the first round and for the second round uh, i also can uh, i also will ask them each one of them with the second question uh, they have 5 minutes to answer and that will take overall 1 hour and then after that inshallah for the rest we are going to open for q and a inshallah i think uh, that's pretty clear what we are going to do tonight inshallah so before we uh, 
uh, go to the questions. Uh, let me uh, very brief, eh, very brief to introduce uh, who are our speakers tonight. All right. Um, I'm pretty sure these gentlemen are very familiar with us. Uh, let me start with uh, Datu Hamidun first. Uh, we see Datu Hamidun over there, All right? Ustaz Datu Hamidun Abdul Hamid is truly our beloved Sheikh ataupun orang lama kat UAE ini, eh? and experienced teacher as well as a refined and eminent administrator. Uh, he's coming from Kedah, originally from Kedah, but he can, if you speak with him, he can speak with all mainstream dialect in Malaysia. Right, but most importantly, he is among the few admin staff who can speak fluently Arabic and English in IUM. Right, because some leaders they can speak English well, but Arabic uh, not quite. So, but Ustaz Amidun is well known, is among the best in, in, in English and also Arabic. Uh, Datu joined IUM in 1990 as a lecturer at CELPED, but then. Uh, I think this is my assumption, probably because of his administrative skill, right, was already being discovered by UAM. He later on entrusted with various posts at his uh, department uh, in Salpet as well as the central. Among the important posts are the deputy director, students and alumni, which is the highest post, uh, among the highest posts in IUM. Uh, student affairs and alumni affairs from 2005 until 2009. Uh, he also um, entrusted to uh, be a director of MOS, director of international affairs, and many more. Uh, he also hold various positions as advisor, chairman, manager, coordinator, and many other positions for club societies, organization inside and outside of IUM. Dr. Amidun also contributed a lot to the academic world by presenting papers in seminars and conferences, as well as deliver talks in many important programs inside and outside of IUM. Currently, yang berbagi datuk is an academic fellow at Department of Fundamental and Interdisciplinary Studies, IUM. Welcome, datuk. We're really honored to have you with us tonight. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi Shukran jazilan. Thank you very much. Thank you, datuk. Uh, for our second speaker, our second, second speaker is uh, respected and beloved Ustaz Fauzi bin Muda, uh, who, was, who is always Muda and handsome. Right? If you go to STAT, you can find him. Right? He obtained his first degree from Azhar University in 1989 and completed his master's in education in 2005. He is also from Selpet, like Datu Amidun, and still teaching there until now. He was then principal of Mahala Ali, from 2005 until 2015, before joining STEP as head credited co-curricular department uh, since 2015 and until present. Welcome, Ustaz. We are very honored to have you. Assalamualaikum. And the third speaker. <laughs> well, thank you, Ustaz. And our third speaker panel is a young and learned scholar, Assistant Professor Nik Muhammad Saiful Azizi, uh, Dr. Nik Muhammad Saiful Azizi bin Nik Abdullah from Kulia of Education, IUM. Currently, he is attached with Kulia of Education and his field of interest is Islamic education, uh, sciences of Quran and Hadith, Tafis Al-Quran, Tajweed, Tafsir, and others. He obtained his first degree in Tafsir and Kiraat from Medina University, Saudi Arabia while master degree in Islamic study from UKM and PhD in education from IIUM. Uh, Dr. Ni actively involved in academic activities such as presenting papers local and abroad, published article as well as actively participated in many research projects. Uh, okay, last but not least, uh, he is also the principal Mahalla Ruqayya. Uh, welcome Al-Fadil Dr. Ni Saiful. We are also very delighted to have you with us tonight. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Dr. Cik Alazim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay. Uh, brothers and sisters, uh, let me uh, directly go to our um, uh, our topic, which is, uh, as I mentioned to you, which is insensitivity among students. <coughs> so my first question to Datuk uh, Hamidun. Datuk, mm -hmm. okay. Um, uh, IUM's uh, mission 
vision and mission is noble. And every member of the IOM community has a responsibility to, to uphold it. But what will happen if students are not aware of it and even do not really care about what the mission uh, is all about? Faldarato. Okay, thank you very much first for inviting me. So I thought when uh, you are already retired, then people will tend to forget that you're still around. And Alhamdulillah, I'm given the opportunity to still be on the staff, though, you know, not as a permanent staff, but on contract. And uh, I've been at this university for so long. It's coming to my 30th year now. And uh, back to the question, if any, not only student, student are our customer, right? If, or in our amana, if any of those who are connected with International Islamic University, whether they be staff, academic or administrative, whether they be even contractor, I would say, if they do not understand and exemplify the instruction or the elements that are in the I am vision and mission, I don't think we will succeed in achieving the objective that we have. So I will say, I have a minute. First, I will say that the first thing a lot of us tend to forget because we look at vision and mission, we tend to forget to the well that we drew uh, this, this, uh, uh, this mutiara or this pearls of wisdom in the vision and mission. That is the well of our philosophy, the philosophy of IUM. So basically it is based on uh, the first five ayah of Iqra, Bismi Rabbika Lazi Khalaq. And uh, why, why, why do we have this? We have to go back into history that in 1981, in the discussion of, of, uh, of uh, OIC among the ministers, the educational ministers of OIC, they found that there's a need, they observe, they come to the conclusion that there's a need for a new generations of Muslim who are well rooted in their religion. That means they have knowledge, they are being, uh, they are being shaped by the ethics and the akhlaq of the religion the worldview of uh, Islam and the akhla of Islam. And yet they are modern, living in the modern age. They know what is around. And this is exemplified, for example, when our alumni from Bosnia, when we receive the first uh, Bosnian students, they still drink hot uh, liquor, they still fight, and they still go to Chowket Road and all these sort of uh, things because they're just out of the war torn Bosnia Herzegovina, between Bosnia Herzegovina and Serbia. And you know the genocide of the Serbians. Mm -hmm. So after 70 years of living under communist rule, you have that sort of Muslim. But Alhamdulillah, after four years, five years here at IUM, when they go back to, when they went back to Bosnia, they become heads of department, especially in the field of the economy and building of Islamic banking and finance in Bosnia. The reason being that those who come back from the Western world only know the Western concept of finance and banking. But, and those who come from Al-Azhar will know about the Sharia laws of Mu'amalat, but they do not know the bridge between these two. They do not know how to integrate and how to identify which is which. So in the end, you find out in Bosnia, most of those working for the Bosnian uh, economic development are from IUM, right? So we go back to the well of the, the uh, of the uh, philosophy of this university. It's based on the need of the Muslim Ummah. So that is why don't think that you are just one of the on other universities. Your M is one of those. It is the hope of the Ummah that this university will produce future leaders of Ummah Islamia. Now you must understand this, you must, you must really absorb this because I'm going to tell you, I'm going to challenge you in the end, how you are all Ayan Kampung, all right? To the stage, even up till now, you are calling the others international and kita local. I beg to defer. I told the second rector, please Dr. Abdurabi Abu Suleiman, I am a Malaysian, but I'm as international as you. 
So I would say we don't call them international. We call them non-Malaysian because I am an international Malaysian. So because we have put this, this boundary among ourselves, that is why we are like this. So that's why we go back to this well of uh, Islamic education, whereby on the base of Iqra, we say that seeking knowledge, giving knowledge, the whole system of getting knowledge is something that comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why Iqra. And the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa say that talab al-ilmi faridatun ala kulli muslim. As such, it is an ibadah. It's not ibadah khususiyah, but it is an ibadah. And one who won, man arada dunya fa'alayhi bil-ilm, wa man arada al-akhira fa'alayhi bil-ilm, wa man arada dunya wa al-akhira ma'an fa'alayhi bil-ilm. So ilm is something that you need to survive. Not only in this world, also in the hereafter. How many times have you, have you missed Jum'ah now? Right. Right? And you see the impact now. People are not concerned anymore. You see the young people are not concerned anymore. You know, they can move now, but the most still cannot accept the full quota. So to them, well, it's not, they don't have, they don't have to do it. Why are we not thinking about streamline online Jum'ah? What is the ruh of Jum'ah anyway? It is the Jama'ah that you feel together you in one Jama'ah, Muslimah, and you have the Ma'udah for that week. Reminders for that week. It is not just reading of the Khutbah. Right? It's not just reading because Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam غَلِبًا مَا إِذَا صَعَدَ الْمِنْبَرْ أَحْمَرَّ دُوَجْهَهُ Bila Rasulullah naik ke mimbar, Muka dia kadang-kadang merah padam. It's a very heavy responsibility to provide the, 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 the drink of a spiritual drink to the Muslimin, to the Sahaba that will last them for one week. So this is what the khatib should be feeling. Right? So why not now, because of this problem, we think about uh, uh, Jum'ah that is online and everyone can join it. All right, so it is ibadah, the, the learning and the teaching. <laughs> when you say it's ibadah, brothers and sisters, you know, you think Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will only look at you when you pray and fasting and so on. And outside of praying and fasting, Allah don't look at you. Yeah, when you chill at the traffic light, taking a few seconds from your, stealing a few seconds from the car, the car that you, you chill you stole from him, are you going to pay that few seconds? You think Allah don't look at, don't, don't see it? Right? So, so all the other things. So that is why learning, teaching, and the whole system, the masuk yang mana yang support group, these are all ibadah. Right? Then the other thing is that knowledge, this is from our philosophy. Knowledge is an amana. Brothers and sisters, the shaitan, the iblis, is more sad. Right? It's more happy with the death of an alim than the ishtishat of 1,000 shaheed. The Iblis is more happy because when an alim die, then a source of ilmu, a source of knowledge is gone, right? So knowledge is an amana. When it is amana, the knowledge learn has got to be taught. No two ways about it. Yeah. Dia dalam, dalam ilmu silat boleh lah. Ada 10 buah Tok Guru Ajar Sembilan je. Yang satu tu sebab dia dia memang tak cahaya anak murid dia lah. So macam mana dia tarbiah anak murid dia. Itu itu zaman kita dulu ya. But in Islam, what you have, you have to give. Right? You cannot simpan. Sebab kalau you simpan, nanti Allah akan tanya. Allah will ask you about it. Right? So this is also amana. So Seeking knowledge, giving knowledge, ibadah, and also an amana. Out of this, out of this, and the and the hope of the Muslim Ummah, a new university that produces new leaders who can speak the modern language, who knows about their own religion and the relevance of this religion in this world of trouble and the application of the 
principles of this religion to solve the problem of mankind. This is in your song, IAUM song, all right? So from there, we have the vision that IAUM must be a center of educational excellence, right? Jauda, right? In education, quality, excellent, unggul, lambasa Melayu. All right, so where is the excellence there? Okay, the excellence that we relieve the dynamism, the intellectual dynamism, rejuvenate the intellectual dynamism of the Muslim Ummah in all fields of knowledge. In all fields of knowledge, where are we now? All right, where are we now? When people are talking in, in order to have a sustainable food source, in order to take care of our environment, sustainable environment, let's have now, instead of uh, rearing up cows that produce gases that will uh, uh, erode our ozone layer and so on and so forth, let's have meat from the lab. And I challenge you, go and ask any alim now, go and ask our, you know, those in Islamic review knowledge or in, in, in uh, Ustaz, Ustaz, Ustazah, Ustazah, share, share, what is the fatwa for meat from the lab? Made uh, from tissue culture, from stem cell, they grow up meat just like the meat. Now Singapore is going to start selling uh, tissue, uh, tissue engineered chicken. Macamana, fatwa, fatwa, halal garam. Right, so kita dah ketinggalan. We're supposed to be giving back the rejuvenation of the of the Muslim ummah. Okay. So in this field, but in, you look into science, mashallah, jauh kita ketinggalan the Muslim Ummah. Although there are a lot of scientists, Muslim scientists working with NASA, right? But in our own Muslim land, we are far behind in the achievement in the Islamic, in, in the scientific field. So there we have it. Uh, as far as uh, we are concerned, the mission is for. Uh, the vision is that we become an excellent center of education to rejuvenate the dynamism of uh, the Muslim Ummah, of, of the Ummah, all right, for the benefit of mankind. It's not just for the Muslim, right? It is for the benefit of mankind. So, kalau kita dalam pemikiran politik kita ni jauh lagi lah. Eh, sebab kita biasanya masih dalam apa kongkongan sangka ayam Melayu Islam. Lain penduduk tak, tak ada. Orang kape, kape tak masuk orang kita. Sepatutnya dia akan jadi saudara kita. Tapi kita tak fikir macam tu. So this is something else yang tak, tak, tak ada dalam, kita tak, apa, we did not practice our, what is in the uh, I am vision. So in order to achieve that, you say we said, we must put our mission statement. And kalau at that time, we have Islamization yang pertamanya. Islamization meaning, Islamization of knowledge at that time. And then during the tenureship of Professor Kamal as the, as the re rector, he found that although we have done a lot of Islamization since 1983 until uh, 2000, 2000 or just before 2000, we produce people who, st who stole from us. <laughs> this happened, yeah? your abang dulu. Your abang kerja dengan university, tapi dia makan di university. So we are frustrated. Then we start talking about Islamization of the soul. Right? Islamization of the person who's going to do Islamization. So that's why now we see that kita kat university ni two prong. Not only the Islamization of knowledge, also the Islamization of the akhlaq. So this is the first uh, Islamization, dalam Islamization, the first thing that we observe are we on akhlaq Islamia. I'll tell you, for example, because we are speaking, as I am speaking, I'm talking to you now as uh, Tok Wan. Eh? This, <laughs> in my class, I told them, don't call me anything, just call me Tok Ki or Tok Wan. So most of them pick up to call me Aki, right? So I was born in the same year as the Merdeka, right? <laughs> so imagine that, right? So uh, you're all my grandchildren. I'm sharing you so that you won't repeat what mistake that we have done. Right? That is why you want to know all the mistakes that we have done so that you don't repeat it. Okay, so tadi kita like Islamization, we find that, are we practicing this in our akhlaq? Is it there in our soul? Orang kita semayang ni, semayang memang semayang khusyuk atau tidak? 
uh, rindu dah nak bagi semayang. Bila Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, berapa soft masa zuhur dulu. Kan ni tak boleh katalah semua ada reason. Tapi berapa soft yang ada dulu. Daripada 4,000 orang lelaki di dalam uh, in uh, 4,000 male staff and student at our university because kita of course student only 35%, 65% girls, right? So uh, uh, only about in Zohor about five sof, five sof multiply by five, uh, 150, by five to five so 700 and Bobo bobo 150 multiply by 5. Ah 750 out of 4000. These are the people who do solat terjemah at the mosque. Okay, every mahalla, every mahalla has the musalla, but you go and check mahalla at the time of subuh, wallahi bilal. One of the volunteer imam and then two or three jamaah. When I was a deputy writer, I used to check all these things. So there are students, in fact, who are alumni. You abang abang dulu. When I meet them, when they're already in their 45 years old, 46 years old, who start? Nam tahun saya UAE, dua CFS, empat minit. Saya tak pernah semaya. Dia mengaku, tapi dah tobat, start sah, dah tobat, dah tobat. So this is the thing, right, that we have. So Islamization saja pun, kalau kita check betul betul, yes, we will have the uh, given to us the knowledge. What is Islamization? Is to become Islamic is all about. But the practice part, tak nampak, eh? uh, uh, kurang. Bukan tak nampak, kurang. So, so that is in terms of semayang student. In terms of the akhlak, how many of you students sebelum COVID dulu, you like to go to meet the staff at ANR? Right? You see the clerk or the kaka or the one at ANR or where you need to settle some problem. All right? Okay? So, That practice is not there as well. You don't see smile when you when you are there, right? You say salam alaikum, salam alaikum. Then just look at you. He says, "What problem are you going to bring to us now?" So this is the point. And also, Salah Salam taught us asiru wala tu asiru, make things easy, facilitate, not make things difficult. So that is the Islamization for in the practice. All right, the academic stuff. I do not know as far as concern. I say tak bani jadi academic stuff. Okay, will you offer to again? I mean, say kata saya try, right? When the first, when Abu Hamid Abu Islamah asked me, when will you be doing your PhD? I said when I am around 50. He said what? He <laughs> said the concept of dapat PhD awal ni, because nak buat riset, nak buat to do apa panggil ilmu yang baru keluarkan ilmu baru. He said why? I said I will need the I need the wisdom and the Uh, kematangan and the uh, apa panggil kematangan the apa panggil uh, the nuduj alright fi khalqi al ulum al jadid fi ilm jadid aw fi nasj jadid li ulum al mawjud al mawjud so some, whether in order to, to to produce a new knowledge or to to have a new design a new looming of the knowledge the different knowledge that we have Into something new, so this is uh, the academy should be produced in something new, right? It is not repeat, just teaching repeat. Apa yang lecturer dia bagi dulu, they have to look into uh, new things to bring avant-garde knowledge and so on and so forth, right? This is kita dalam ilmu, uh, most university dalam uh, university dalam ilmu human science and so on. But those who are in the knowledge uh, in the field of sciences, hard sciences, this is where you have a lot of uh, new discovery and new invention. All right, so that is Islamization. The next one triple I see is integration. So this is the integration of one at the one aspect of uh, reveal knowledge and of the uh, empirical based knowledge. So the ilmu, the knowledge that we human science, our human beings discover and come to through our whether we have through empirical uh, experimentation or through our deep reflection. So all this experiential memory will come out with something we call knowledge because of the integration of the different part. And for us Muslim, we integrate the revealed knowledge. And even there, we have to study deeper. We have to study deeper, right? Because people are speaking, for example, like Makasit Sharia, for example, just an example. 
we know that makasa sharia the protection of life uh, of uh, of religion of akal of uh, of of uh, lineage and of uh, of the uh, heart yeah, of the wealth 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 um, wealth right yeah. fine so you're just saying protection and we have been into this in the thinking that achieve the minimum just protect you're okay no no Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ask you how does he ask you to use your mind just so that you you tak uh, you tak hilang akal or he ask you to develop your mind to get the knowledge until you reach to him sanurihim ayatina fil afaqi wa fi anfusihim hatta yatabayyana annahu al-haq hatta yatabayyana so ask the arabic people why yatabayyana not just tabayyana Ya tabayyana, one after another, proof, one after another, proof and reproof and proof and proof. Until it becomes the truth. Allah is the truth. Okay? And uh, so this is the integration between reveal and... So where are we now? Not only the lecturers, not only the lecturers, not only the non-lecturers, also the students. Where are we? Where is the step, the first step to begin our in the march, or begin our integration of the Quran and whatever is surrounding us? And to be infused in that integration with that spirit of this is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is I want to reach to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is the greatest that you can do. That is one integration. And because of that reaching to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the other domain of integration, the integration of your faith, iman, ilmu, and your hati, your heart. Right? And your taqwa. Right? So all these things should be integrated so that you become a holistic human being insan kamil yang dulu cakap kemudian lepas pada tu apa orang panggil sekarang ni dia panggil insan sejahtera sejahtera man right? but basically it is all that right? okay that is integration sorry to take a bit of time I'm trying to finish quickly right? and then uh, internationalization or oh, you put international first this is why I don't I don't like it when they call me You know, Ustaz, you are not international. We international students, I say, forget it. Right? I am Ummatik, I am Ummah of Islam. I am more international than you. I have been around, you know, except for South America. All the other continents, South America, Arctic and Antarctic, I haven't been. The rest I have been. Okay? So I think I'm more international than you. <laughs> All right? So internationalization is not only that we are uh, hoping to be an international university, And that international internationalism or the 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 quality of international internationality or glo globality is not in the shape of that we are so many percent international student we must have so many number no it is our attitude our world view toward the rest of the world right our view towards it. we are one of the world okay so. If you want to talk about who should be talking about that, we are the most important people in the world, it will be the Chinese, because they are the greatest in number. If you want to talk about who's going to be stronger, that's why America thinks that is the, is the king of the world, because they have the strength. But we Malaysian, right? So our internationalism is that we are part of the international world. We can contribute from the Samim, from the depth of our culture and our akhlaq to be, to to the international world in how to become good human beings. All right? So this, this can be uh, portrayed or this can be put forward. So internationalism also means that the knowledge that we are presenting, the knowledge that are we inculcating to the new students, the knowledge that we are teaching are rooted in the human experience, right? So it is of international nature. You go anywhere in the world, When our students talk about a certain issue, they will also understand. Okay, although the, although they are non-Muslim, right? Because we studied both of the things. Then you have in the end to cover everything, triple ICE comprehensive excellence. You must be excellent in all your facets of uh, strength, uh, facility there. That's what I was talking to you just now about the maqasid. It is not only the protection at the minimum, It is protection first. Then you have to develop it This, in order to get comprehensive excellent, to get excellent. Develop it and then sustain it at that level of achievement, high achievement. Right? This is basically 
triple ICE. And if the students cannot understand this, you will find that they will not, you know, I have to do it Sudanese time. I have to do it. Magalu man talab al-awla sahar al-layali. And they said, those who wanted lofty of position, the lofty position, they will not sleep at night. Sleep the minimum. But they will always struggle. They always struggle and struggle. Same case. Mm-hmm. Alhamdulillah, my colleagues, the lecturers, they're working hard. I see, I see them sometimes to huyong hayang datang kerja ya. Because they're trying to complete their lectures, to update their lectures, try to complete their writing and so on and so forth. So the students, if they don't have built up with this spirit, then we will lose. You can see later on, inshallah, we mentioned later on how now uh, I will also give the experience of alumni eh? later on how uh, the, the international, the, the umatic feeling, right, needs to be improved. Very, very. Yeah, we improve a lot. Okay. I'll stop there now. Thank you very much. Sorry for taking a few time. Thank you, Datu. I think uh, that is very uh, comprehensive. You're touching a lot of areas, which uh, I think it is very important to our student leaders to know the experience as well as uh, what has been, uh, you know, went through by your generation as well as what we can learn from the past. Uh, brothers and sisters, uh, we're still in the uh, forum with Morabi. Uh, Alhamdulillah, uh, Dr. Amidun has explained, uh, you know, the importance of uh, vision and mission of IUM uh, to how are we uh, supposed to be uh, sensitive to this issue and really, really uh, try to understand and digest what has been underlined by the UIA. Okay, we go to the second speaker, Al-Fadil Ustaz Fauzi. Uh, a part of what has been said by Datu Hamidun just now, uh, from your uh, point of view as an experienced lecturer and academic administrator for the past, I think, 20 years. So what is uh, your observation about IUM students in terms of ethics, knowledge, and leadership? Are they in line with a uh, triple IC? For those that. Okay, uh, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you, uh, Dr. Uh, Cik Razi. Uh, my beloved uh, colleague, uh, Datuk Amidun, uh, and also another uh, panelist, uh, Dr. Uh, Nick Saifun, and uh, all principals, uh, MRC members. Uh, thank you for inviting me to uh, talk uh, to this uh, forum tonight. Actually, I'm not the um, uh, correct person to, uh, or the right person to, to, to talk here. And I think all of us, uh, and including myself, uh, we were mesmerized with the uh, Dr. Amidon talk just now. I think next time, <laughs> I'm also willing to, to listen more from, uh, from Dr. Amidon, uh, where he talked about the uh, uh, you know, the uh, triple ICE and uh, <clears throat> when, uh, you know, I think I can uh, consider uh, uh, talk just now as, uh, you know, tarbiyah ruhiyah, yeah, tarbiyah ruhiyah. But anyway, uh, before I proceed with the, uh, you know, with the question uh, by Dr. Chirazi just now, uh, I want to apologize for, for any shortcomings because I'm not the Arabic, uh, I'm not the English speaker. Okay, I'm the Arabic speaker, so uh, if there are any, any uh, confusion or misunderstanding about uh, the way I, 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 I talk uh, tonight, inshallah, uh, so I, uh, firstly, I would like to apologize, eh, inshallah. But I try myself, uh, my, my best to, uh, uh, to convey uh, the message uh, regarding the question that posed uh, uh, to me just now. And... Um, my part, I just want to uh, share with all of you here about my experience because, uh, uh, as you said just now, uh, I already have I have been serving for this university about almost thirty years, eh? <laughs> almost thirty years. I think um, 
uh, about 30 yeah, years, yeah. okay? So, so inshallah, uh, five uh, years more, you know, to, to, uh, to resign, to be, uh, you know, with uh, Dato' Amirun, inshallah, <laughs> inshallah. To the club, retire. <laughs> okay, so uh, tonight, just to uh, share my experience uh, being a lecturer and also academic administrator, um, I would like to divide my uh, my talk uh, tonight into two uh, phases. Eh? Okay, when I I started uh, my job as a lecturer at time in uh, way back to 1990, okay, when uh, I've been appointed as a uh, metric teacher at that time uh, uh, in Lembah Pantai uh, together with so with uh, with a uh, at Amido at that time, okay. So when I was there as a metric teacher, uh, the, the at that time the student the number of student uh, uh, was not many. Yeah, uh, mm. it's around uh, not uh, around one thousand. Okay, and then um, the the compound also the area also uh, was not too big. Okay. Uh, so for me at that time, uh, it's easier to us uh, to as a, a lecturer especially, and also as a I'm I'm also uh, I was a fellow at that time, eh? a fellow at the uh, Mahallah what do you call it college, eh? uh, Sheikh Daw Al Fatani College. Mm. Uh, so with that uh, constraint, with the number of students, not too many. And as the compound also not too uh, big, okay. So it's easier uh, to uh, to monitor uh, the students, okay. Uh, or if I can say that student uh, at that time were under control, okay. Um, and also one more thing, also another um, very interesting point, also the student or metric student at at, at that time, uh, they always had a good rapport yeah, with the, especially with the, with the lecturer, yeah, with the lecturers. And um, so uh, we can have the good communication with them. Yeah? We can observe them, we can guide them, we can be uh, together with them as a friend, yeah? because maybe the gap, uh, the year gap between uh, uh, lecturer and the students at that time was not too uh, far. So, we have a good repo, okay, mixing with them, okay. Uh, so in the in, in in this case, the student, uh, the metric student at that time, they observed the rules and regulation. That from my my uh, my observation, okay. They observed the rules and regulation. So because maybe they came, they came, they, they, uh, they just uh, they just came from uh, from schools. Uh, uh, finish uh, the you know uh, SPM holder so they are very how to say that they, they are very uh, you know they obey to the rules and the regulations okay so with that um, uh, how to say that with that uh, constraint eh? so I think quite easy to 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 handle uh, the the student metric student at time so meaning to say that. Uh, in terms of ethics, uh, uh, I think uh, I can. What I can observe, uh, student at metric uh, center at that time, uh, they were under control and uh, they were good uh, in terms of ethics. Uh, and I think it's a common thing so when we have uh, we we can found out uh, a few cases uh, like uh, such as breach the rules, uh, uh, commit the offenses. It's just normal. Uh, but at the end, they came out as a good students, eh? and then they, they gain knowledge because uh, uh, within two years uh, in the metric, uh, they learn, uh, you know, hard eh, to in order to gain knowledge. And also, uh, in terms of uh, leadership, uh, from my observation, uh, they were so active in club and society because uh, if I, I'm not, uh, I'm, if I'm not mistaken. 
uh, at that time, uh, the, the students are quite busy with the clubs and society. There are so many clubs and society. So they engage themselves in, uh, you know, in um, uh, participating in clubs activities, societies activities, and so on. Um, and if, if I can uh, um, throw back also, that time we uh, um, introduced the, uh, or established the, the subject, uh, USRA subject at that time. Eh? So student at that time need to uh, uh, follow the USRA, uh, USRA program. And we uh, train uh, the, the Nakib and Nakiba uh, uh, to, to, to lead or to guide the, the other students. Uh. So in terms of um, uh, leadership, uh, I think uh, I can observe uh, there are a lot of potential uh, uh, in, the, in our student at that time, uh, metric students. Eh? Um, and uh, I think as we know that uh, when the metric level, metric uh, center, they, are, they were all local students, eh? not from uh, uh, international students. Eh? So we, see, we, we can uh, see that, uh, we could see that the, their potential as a leader is there, eh? was there. So when come to Gomba campus, okay, the second phase, uh, the, 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 the situation uh, was different, looked different, okay? Um, because we have the international student uh, and local as well. So the number also, the number of students also uh, keep increasing, okay? From a uh, thousand to uh, um, a few thousands, okay? So, uh, the challenges, we have the challenges there. Uh, number one, to control them. Uh, of course, when we have the small number, uh, it's easier to control. But when we have the lot, uh, a number of students, so very hard to control them. Eh? Uh, and then uh, another thing also, they, they came from various different countries, different background, uh, different culture, and so on and so forth. So, uh, because of these uh, different countries, different background, different culture, uh, this, this, those students, uh, uh, they uh, take time uh, uh, to, to adopt the new culture. Uh, as mentioned by, by Dr. Amidin just now, where we found that some students uh, uh, from uh, international, especially from international students, uh, they used to, uh, you know, to, to practice what they, they, they gain from from their, 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 their country, their, their respective country. Eh? Like uh, as mentioned just now, uh, they took the, the uh, you know, they, uh, they drink the alcohol eh? and so on. Okay, so they, you know, the student take time to adopt the new culture. And because of, uh, maybe because of their, you know, their, 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 you know, the age, okay, they become more mature eh? and educated. Uh, and uh, of definitely the behavior uh, will change eh, drastically. Yeah? Uh, but I think it depends on the students. Eh? Some really good and some not. It is very common eh, in the, uh, as a student. But overall, they are still good students. Eh? For me, eh? they are still good students. Uh, they have a very uh, good personality, eh? very uh, enthusiastic in seeking knowledge, eh? and they brush they are talents to be leader, okay? When they, they participate and they, when they join in, uh, uh, in societies and clubs, eh, they brush up their talents. Eh? And then for me, we cannot blame if there are uh, misconduct among the students. Eh? So we have to, do, we cannot make a whole judgment eh? because for me, they are in the process of learning. Eh? Uh, they keep on uh, learning to, to gain something new, okay, uh, in the process of to, to, to know the new things. Eh? So for me, our responsibility, responsibilities there is to keep on going to educate them, to guide them to the right path. Eh? Uh, so at the end of the day, we can produce the students with balanced personality. For me, uh, from two places that I experienced, uh, I, I can say that the, the, uh, we, can, we can say that the, the students uh, 
uh, even though uh, we, uh, uh, whether we are from they are from uh, uh, metric or going to the uh, uh, Gomba campus, yeah, uh, they still have uh, you know uh, they still learning. They, they still want to learn, okay. Uh, and then uh, if if we, we can say that are they in line with I, triple ICE? I think we cannot say that. 100% they, they are in line with a triple ICE, but some of them, yes, but some of them still, um, you know, trying to, to, um, uh, to um, uh, fulfill or to achieve uh, the goal and the, uh, the, the, vis the vision and the mission. Eh? And, uh, and also when, uh, when we talk about triple ICE, the, the, the triple ICE is there, okay? So if, if, if we say that the, the student um, you know, cannot reach that uh, triple ICE uh, aspiration. Uh, if we say that, so for me, the student need to, you know, we, we as a lecturer, we as an administrator, uh, we uh, as a staff, we, we cannot stop uh, from, uh, you know, educating them, uh, from guiding them to the right, to the right way. Uh, so that inshallah, uh, we, we, uh, we can uh, expect that uh, the, the the students, inshallah, uh, gradually they will uh, cope with the uh, and understand with what a, a triple ICE is all about. Huh? So uh, I think that's from um, from my observation huh? from uh, throughout this uh, you know 30 years uh, uh, servicing in this university. Okay, so thank you. Zakallah khairan ustaz. I think um, that's that's really worthy to you know to 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 what do you call it to have your your observation because uh, this is something that you can see that students now uh, able to um, um, what do you call it compare what happened in the past and what we are facing now uh, in terms of number that it is easy control to control compared to now we have a lot of students and then you know the challenges that we face outside outside there as well uh, and uh, we need to give time for them i agree with you as a murabi as you mentioned uh, we need to give time to them to learn and we never stop our endeavor to help them to bring them to the uh, true understanding of triple ICE as what has been uh, projected by the university. Thank you so much, uh, Al Fadil Ustaz. Now we move to uh, our beloved uh, Dr. Ni. Okay, uh, Al Fadil Dr. Ni. Um, okay. Um, lately, people from the IUM community itself and uh, members of the public have been uh, a bit, you know, um, um, criti crit critical or criticizing uh, IIM students for not having good akhlaq, especially in terms of dress code, as well as, uh, you know, free mixing between male and female. So even though it is not obvious, it's not too obvious, but still there. So as a Murabi teacher and principal, okay, so how do you address this issue uh, for the daughter, for the Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, thank you, my dear respected Dr. Cik Razi, uh, my respected uh, panels, Dr. Hamidun and Ustaz Fauzi, principals and MRCs. Also, thank you to organizer for inviting me as among the panel for tonight's session. I believe uh, I learned much more from respected panels, from their experience and their advice. My dear brothers and sisters, uh, Alhamdulillah, may this time reach you while you are in the grade of Iman and great health by the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, uh, as we know, the university aims not only at developing academic or intellectual potential of the student, but also caters to morality, integrity, 
and character building, akhlaq. So refers to university dress code and pre-mixing between sex or we call it ikhtilaf. Uh, as a murabi, uh, as a teacher, as a principal like Dr. Chikarali said just now, uh, the advice as follow. Uh, the first uh, issues, uh, uh, please take note, please take, please take an important note. Uh, the university's identity is based upon the proper, proper relationship between the sex and uh, acceptable attire of students. Uh, re refers to student discipline rules 2004. Muslim students are required to comply with rules and regulations of the university and shall not act contrary to these rules and regulations. The Islamic uh, code and conduct as prescribed, uh, uh, the, the, they are required to to follow the as prescribed by the Sharia, and also the Muslim student has to fulfill Islamic duties, which are obligatory upon them in private or in public, within or outside the university. For non-Muslim student, also they are required to comply with the university rules and regulations, and they shall not act in any way that may be interpreted as the, the respectful to Islam and to the Islamic university rules. According to modesty of attire in, in accordance with the rules uh, 27, Muslim students are expected to dress in a manner considered proper by the Sharia. Okay, for example, Attire for female students. First, they have to cover the aura as provided under the Sharia. They should not be tight fitting and they should not show the shape of the body and their dress materials should not be transparent or revealed at the contour of the body. Also, excessive accessories or strong perfumes and heavy makeup, heavy makeup also are not allowed. I just visited by some of students, they come to me and the, the perfume very strong. I said, awak pakai bedak apa malam ni? Manu sangat. Also, uh, they have to uh, wear sarung or skirts must be long enough to reach and cover their ankles. This is a uh, an offense under this order is a compoundable offense and uh, shall be dealt with uh, according with the pro procedure in Rule uh, 34 of the Student Discipline Rules. Okay, my dear brothers and sisters, uh, regarding to pants, uh, the females should not be tight fitting or figure hugging. They should be lost and cover the ankles. Pants also should be worn only with a long, loose upper dress which cover the hip. Uh, and jeans are absolutely not allowed actually in the classrooms, but may maybe some lecturers are not aware about that. Uh, official university functions, we also cannot uh, go with, like, like tonight we, go, we are joining this uh, forum. If we have face to face, maybe uh, we can see uh, many, many, apa, benda-benda yang boleh ditegur lah. Kan? But because we are in our our room, our our home, so everyone can wear what they want to. Also, this is uh, we can do. We can take action offense under this order in compoundable offense, and shall be that uh, with. Uh, within, according with the procedure here in Rule 34 of the Student Discipline Rules. Also related to blouse. Uh, Low fitting blouse and upper dress may be worn provided they have long sleeves reaching the wrist and also covering the hips. Okay, this is uh, for, uh, and also one, one, one more thing, 
now orang apa orang cakap kena tudung-tudung semua ni kan macam-macam jenis tudung head cover for the female female students the head cover should properly cover the head and should not reveal the hair uh, neck uh, chest and the shoulder some student they try to expose or try to apa, display something as not supposed to do uh, also uh, for female non, uh, for non muslim students female she may adopt islamic dress if she desires otherwise she should at least cover the head with a scarf or shawl or similar headgear as a symbol of respect to the Islamic uh, University. Why I highlight this, this thing? Because this many happen and we can see, especially in the upper, upper ni, asrama mahallah, which uh, mix with male and upper ni, some non-Muslim, they come and they rent in our block some, uh, quite some time. In some, like they don't know the rules and regulations. We have got some time for uh, dapat student student from Australia, from Bangladesh, from India, uh, all from Japan. They maybe don't know about these uh, rules and regulations. Okay, um, for the actually this is uh, related to the ayat Quran, uh, like uh, in the Quran Allah Taala. سيد عمر بن شيخ الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وقل للمؤمنات يغضبن من أبصارهن ويحفظن فروجهن ولا يبدين زينتهن إلا ما ظهر منها وليضربن بخمرهن على جيوبهن ولا يبدين زينتهن إلا جيوبهن وآبائهن وآبائهن إن سو أنسلا and tell the believing women to lower their gaze from looking at forbidden things and protect their private parts from illegal sexual acts and do not show off do not show off their adornments except only that which uh, is appearance and to draw their veils all over uh, uh, specifically their bodies their face their necks their bosoms and also, wala yudhi na zinatahunna and do not reveal their adornments. Okay, my dear brothers and sisters, now we go to attire uh, for male students because we are talking, still talking the first issue relating to dress code. For uh, the attire for the male student or Muslim student, they must cover the aura as provided under the sharia of the, the male body. Antara pusat dengan lutut kan? Uh, this is a itu yang menggambarkan this the the best garment the best garment uh, uh, like the in the Quran Allah Taala Subhanahu Wa Taala said walibasu taqwa dalika khair walibasu taqwa dalika khair the best garment is the garment of taqwa okay this is the uh, but we can see many students male students they are play, playing or jogging or come to the uh, private of any public area they still wear short pants eh? what we sub, quite sometimes kadang-kadang we 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 got we talk about insensitivity among students mereka ni macam dah tak ada rasa malu no tak ada rasa malu tak ada rasa macam-macam kan datang dengan dengan apa dengan apa ni singular uh, Pergi, especially in male apa, uh, cafe. Okay, uh, regarding to the second issues, uh, conduct between genders, or we call uh, free mixing or ikhtilaf, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we can see now uh, in, in MRC, kalau yang MC Chaim, or assignments, apa ni, kuliah assignment, project, also in dakwah and any any apa pula dakwah or any cause they said uh, mixing between men and female so actually we have to to be aware also you know, for for males especially like the uh, in 
Al-Qur'an said kullil mu'minin wa kullil mu'minina yaghuddu min absarihim wa yahfadhu furujahum dhalika azka lahum inna Allah khabirun lima yasma'un tell the believing men to lower their gaze their gaze from looking at forbidden things and protects wa yahfadhu furujahum protect their private part from illegal sexual acts dhalika azka lahum that is the pure for for them Okay. At the same time, kuwa kulli al-mu'minat yaghudud lamin abasarihinna wa yahfabna furujahna. We tell the believing women to lower their gaze from looking at forbidden things and protect their private parts from illegal acts. Uh, okay, Dr. Cik Razi, I think this is enough for, for I, I think I, I answer the question for the attire and for the mixing. Uh, but we can see, in short, we can see, I, I hope MRC please play the your rules to uh, advise your friends advise your friends especially uh, because they are under under us we have a uh, authority at least to advise i hope you can help authority help fellows help principal to advise each other okay by that thank you dr shirazi jazakallah khairan kathira al fadil doctor Uh, I think that's uh, really touching the issue that we are facing today, the insensitivity among students, which uh, need to be, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, look upon as well. Uh, that's showing how uh, are they really sensitive about uh, the, what do you call it, um, um, triple ICE, which is really related to that, because in triple ICE, Uh, as we know, the Triple IC is the summary of seven missions of IUM, and in the seven mission, if we can read, it is really stated that the conduct, you know, apa tu akhla, all these things are really discussed and spelled out in the seven mission of uh, IUM. So this is uh, what we need: not only excellent in in academic, but also excellent in character. Inshallah. Brothers, sisters, uh, principals, fellows, uh, our panelists, Alhamdulillah, we have completed our first round. And since the topic is very, very important, very big, very vast as well. So I think um, we adjust a bit about our uh, forum tonight uh, because the time also not allow us to go, uh, you know, uh, I mean, uh, taking so long. Uh, so I skip for the second round. I wanted to give a uh, chance to our participants because I believe that our dear participants, uh, you know, student leaders from Mahala, uh, they wanted to ask directly to our uh, speakers. So I think uh, we give uh, uh, what do you call it room for them to ask directly who they wanted to ask and make sure that they introduce themselves from which mahalla, the name, and then from which mahalla, uh, then uh, address the question to whom they wanted to ask. Fadal. So uh, we open for, uh, you know, to the floor or to the, to the audience. Fadal. Uh, Please, anyone? Maybe they can write also in the chat box. Yeah, they can write in the chat box. Yes, you also may, uh, you know, um, use the chat box there, right? If we do not receive any question within two minutes, then I will proceed with the um, second question which I prepared. <laughs> okay, uh, you proceed ahead. Assalamualaikum. Salam. I have a question. Okay, um, my name is Yasmin Zulaika uh, from Mahala Nusaiba. Um, I have a question to Dr. Um, Muhammad Saiful regarding the um, advice to our friends. What is the most polite way or the best way to advise our friends uh, regarding the aura, the pre-mixing between men and women. Thank you. 
Okay, thank you, Yasmin. Father, Father Lotto. Thank you, Sister from Nusaiba. I think that that too, but jawab that too. Eh, ada anak cucu tanya that too. Saya jawab. Tak apa, Pak Ani Datuk jawab. Pak Ani Datuk jawab. Uh, dia tu ni jawab dulu, lepas tu Datuk kita pergi Datuk jawab pula. Saya <laughs> tak nak dengar lah ni jawapan lah. <laughs> okay, in regarding to the apa uh, dress code. Uh, male and female student uh, actually should at all times practice. Practice apa? the principle of modesty uh, also at the same time we have a, a respectable respectable interaction between uh, two genders kadang-kadang uh, nak menegur kan kadang-kadang the same gender pun sama juga tapi at least when we uh, communicate between uh, interact with two genders we have to put uh, respect Uh, and then, in proper decorums in public place, also during meetings, uh, during sport, sporting, and during cultural activities or gatherings, or when dealing with each others, we have to to put uh, respect more. Dan kadang kita suka menegur kan kita suka menjet apa apa merendah-rendahkan pun ada juga kadang-kadang. So the first thing among among us lah not only student also among among us among academician among principals uh, uh, fellows please put respect uh, to others. Don't underestimate others. Uh, maybe we don't know the their background actually uh, the apa Uh, sometimes we don't follow uh, our friends. Don't follow our friends blindly. You you have to use your the wisdom in your judgment. In your judgment, you use wisdom before you making any decision or making any uh, judgment to, to, to others. Because everyone has to, his or uh, her own story. And when we uh, advise them. We do it only for seeking uh, rida Allah, seek guidance uh, from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. I think uh, that's uh, what can I answer the question. And the solution to every problem actually in sabar and istighfar. Kita teguh, kita ingatkan, and kita sabarlah sabar tu. Maybe for apa ni risiko yang akan berlaku, or sabar untuk menanti perubahan atau sabar untuk mendapat ganjaran. At the same time, we istighfar. Maybe they will be better than us. I think that's all, Dr. Cik Razi and uh, sister. Thank you, thank you, Dr. It's thank very you. good. Yeah, al mukmin beratul mukmin kan. Jadi we are, you know. Uh, uh, betul uh, tegur ataupun advise others because they are part of us and the way we do it is as you mentioned by wisdom right not to belittle others not to discredit others but rather with respect thank you so much okay can we move to another question can we have another question please please okay do we have here yes uh, this question for ustaz for datuk saamidun Yes, okay. Zitan, but I would like her to say it. Uh, okay, <laughs> Dato wanted you to to say the question, yeah. to, to read the question, please. If possible. <laughs> She's very shy, Dato. Okay. Okay, Bismillah. Uh, first, I will uh, uh, greet uh, my uh, the, the MRC and the uh, fellows and also the principals. Uh, I haven't greeted them in the first round. 
Walaikum salam, Nohanani. Thank you for the question. Uh, I'm not sure because I've not been around, but when I was the deputy director, not the, it's quite far off before. I think there's not so much because our own society has not changed that much. The only change, uh, the difference between early 2000 and now, uh, or mid to, until mid 2000, is basically the mushrooming of this uh, K pop and the K culture and uh, the dressing accordingly, according to them and so on. But before that, uh, in answering your question, I would first like to mention that you are always concerned with the dress code and rules regulation for the student, right? Uh, we are not that concerned with code of ethics. We also have that. Code of ethics for student, code of ethics for academic staff, code of ethics for research, code of ethics, general code of ethics for staff. So there's also the code of ethics for students. And the university has written down this code of ethics and we have to thank Prof. Emeritus Osman Baka for writing it down. Our job in the committee is just to rearrange it and edit uh, the, some of it, edit the language part, but the whole, basically the, the material has been written by Prof. Osman Baka in the time of uh, Tan Sri Muhammad Kamal Hassan and it was produced during the time of Datuk Sri Said Arabi Adit. But this code of ethics basically the tenggelam sikit compared dengan rules and regulation. So it's like we are more concerned with the form that people should observe the physical part. The internal part is, 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 is basically kita nak tutup, yeah? So I would say that now we should be, if you are asking about uh, regarding the MRC effort adhering to privacy, I would suggest that we started with the spirit of it. Right, with the spirit to achieve uh, triple ICE. So if we say about Islamization, the portrayal of the Islamic culture at our university, right? So you have the, the, the physical, whereby you see how many percent of our sisters are not doing the hijab properly, right? So you see that say about 60% are doing okay, 40% has a problem. How many percent of our sisters are loving one another? You can see it's intangible, but you can feel in the, uh, the, the ukhua between the, the, the sisters and brothers, the ukhua between the non-Malaysian and the Malaysian, and so on and so forth. I have to say this quite honestly, but for Malaysian, especially Malay Malaysian, we are so segregated and so polarized because even in our national build, nation building, we have the problem of races. And I will blame among others, the politicians. Simple as that, I have to be honest. Uh, I come from uh, my bash, we, we were very critical and we still are, and we will say this. Whereas we Muslims uh, should be looking at other races as our dua, our mad'u and potential brothers and sisters. And you, be, you make a person Muslim, Allah will give you the reward of equal opportunity, all right? So the first thing is the adherence to the spirit of the, the, the Tripa IC. If the question is, have you done enough? As far as uh, on the surface, you can see apparently, we only can, can, judge, uh, can, can judge on the, uh, on the surface. When we see that, uh, well, if you can say 60% are already doing that, I would say, the MRC also doing the job in reminding. And uh, what uh, Dr. Nick has said about having uh, is quite correct. For example, for example, uh, so that you can compare, have you done enough or not? If there is somebody who, are, who, is, who, who is not one Muslim, they come to a university, and then visited their friend at Mahalla, MRC of the Mahalla. They saw this girl and she's wearing hot pants and so on and so forth. What's the first thing that comes across your mind? Right? A brother at one time when Sun Moon University exchange student come, about 60 of them from Korea. Moon University of Korea, about 60 students came on exchange. And of course the Koreans, they were you know, short sleeve, short pants on there. I mean, the, the brothers are more covered than the sisters, all right? So here, 
a brother came to me straight away and said, Ustaz, uh, how come we allow this to, to, to come? You know, we are Islamic University. We allow this sort of people to come. This is one of the students uh, at that time, it's called SRC. So I told him, brother, brother, it is already here. You want to blame us, it doesn't matter. You want to blame us, this doesn't matter. But here, here, it, they are already here. What are we going to do about it? I am challenging you, make, give da'wah to these people. And I will help you. If you need money, just tell me. I will still help you. But make proper da'wah to these people. So Alhamdulillah, they did that. He invited all of them to come to the mosque, experience the mosque, and he prepared some of the jubah from the sister. He borrowed it for the sisters to wear and give a student to student talk about why we are wearing, we are like this and why we are still like this and so on. And it was appreciated by the student. And uh, five of them came back to study, really study on exchange for one semester. And three of them became Muslim. See what I mean? So if you start excommunicating people before knowing them, it's a problem. So I think the Murabi uh, spirit is that, especially you in, as, as Mahalla people, you have to know everyone. I'm sorry, that, I'm sorry, I have to mention this, you know. Uh, I think Dr. Fazi, you know, because when I was the deputy director, he was also in COP, right? The first meeting of COP, I'm sorry, we're principals. The first question I asked is that, how name me 20 students from your uh, mahalla. Who are they, name, from which kampung, which kulia? Just three questions. What I mean to say is that among us, we have to know one another. And you are a mahalla representative council, and then you have under you the BRC, so at least the BRC should know the people in the block. We should go down and ask and get to know them. So if you see a sister non-Muslim coming in wearing uh, not according to our regulation or not wearing uh, what you call it, uh, respectably a uh, cloth, we should come and get to know her, right? have some talk and so on and so on, and then explain to her. Right? Of course, they can tell her, but this is part of the challenge. They can tell her, pun. I said it, I never asked you about it, but still, that's the that's the challenge of da'wah anyway. And uh, I think uh, uh, you have done what you have done. I think it's good because it's proven by that not all students apa -apa, jadi jahat semua atau didn't follow the Islamic viewpoint and dress code. Right? So what else should we do? I would say that get to know all of them, be friends. You can divide. You, so many of you, you divide the, the what do you call it, the, the job. Make friends with, with your brothers and sisters, whether tudung bulat, tudung pak segi, tudung tiga segi, tak pakai tudung ke yang, yang tak pakai tudung kat universiti, tak adalah takut kena ni. Tapi kat luar kau tak pakai tudung pun tak apa. Pergi visit rumah dia lagi. Yeah? So, dengan akhlak yang mulia, with the akhlak that is very nice and very wholesome, people will respect and people will get to what they call it to, to 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 come closer to you and listen to you so that's my question uh, my answer to you sister norhani thank you for norhanani thank you for the question <laughs> thank you thank you Dato. uh i think that's very correct that's uh you know we have to have a, a proper way to uh, uh, to what do you call it to uh, give opinion or to even criticize before we criticize we have to have uh, our own uh, method and uh, you know correct procedures as what we mentioned just now okay probably uh, we can answer this uh, from uh, sister Aisha Sisoho probably we can have uh, Ustaz Fauzi Ustaz if can you uh, look at this uh, from chat Okay, uh, from Aisha C. Soho. Uh. Aisha. Uh, my yes. name is uh, from Mahala Safia. I would like to ask uh, what are the proper way, procedure done by the Murabi Task Force to advise the students regarding the pre mixing between genders? And what is your opinion? Or oh, two questions. Uh. Oh, I think the first one <laughs> already uh, answered. Uh, or maybe uh, uh, that Amidun mm -hmm. and also. Tony uh, already uh, touched on this, 
but for me yes, uh, yes, the advice here the uh, the and uh, uh, what do you call it the procedure the proper way regarding the uh, pre mix the mixing between genders okay um, for me uh, in my in my opinion the first one is a uh, we have to, as I said, uh, mentioned earlier, the um, the education uh, is a very good uh, thing. So, a uh, very good approach to uh, uh, to to uh, cater this uh, this issue, mixing uh, between genders, education. Uh, so, uh, we have to uh, educate them uh, the um, the wrongdoings uh, when we have the uh, mixing between genders, and then. Um, I think we should um, do more, more awareness campaign, okay? Um, quoting the ayah from the ayah from the uh, you know from, from the hadith regarding the um, uh, you know Islam uh, prohibit this uh, premixing uh, between genders, but in some occasion yes Islam allow, but in some occasion for example at the canteen eh, they. Uh, uh, if there are something to discuss, that one will be okay. But sometimes uh, they just uh, sit down together, okay, talking without uh, any purpose, okay. And then even in the classroom also, we notice, uh, not in the classroom, some uh, uh, in the studios, uh, uh, it was uh, cases that where the student, uh, you know, the different genders, you know, uh, stay until the late night in the studios, okay? So, uh, Morabi, not only Morabi, I think every one of us, eh, we have our uh, responsibilities eh, to um, monitor this thing, to observe uh, uh, our surroundings, okay? Because uh, uh, in the Quran, it Man ra'a min kumunkaran palu biyadi. Uh, yesterday, Fabi Kalbi, eh, in the hadith say, eh? so every everyone got uh, um, responsibilities eh, to to um, to monitor or to uh, prevent eh, pre-mixing uh, between genders. Eh? So I think the first one is education for me. Other than that, maybe uh, from time to time we have to make um, you know a lot of uh, for for example. Um, Talk, uh, chrama on this, eh? uh, the, uh, the 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 what do you call it? The dangers, eh? <laughs> the implication when we have the um, mixing, eh? the free mixing like this. So I think from time to time you have to uh, make uh, a series of talk or or many things that we can uh, can be done uh, regarding this uh, this issue. But the second question. Uh, what is your opinion if you, you were approached by a Morabi task force and was called by them without the student having any time to give proper explanation? I think um, it's up to, to ourselves. Huh? We cannot blame other, uh, you know, uh, other parties. Huh? Uh, because for me, maybe the, the task force, they are, they, are doing their, they are doing their job. They are doing, they carry out their job, you know, to, uh, to advise to them. Maybe the way uh, where uh, the you know advice may be misunderstood by the student, okay. But I think there are a place, or there are a, um, uh, what do you call it, the, the place for student, you know, to 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 explain. Maybe not in uh, you know uh, directly uh, fa facing the you know face to face with the murabi. Maybe we can you know have a personal, uh, uh, pers uh, what do you call it. Um, one-to-one -one, uh, consultation. Maybe after that, we, you can go back to the uh, Morabi and uh, you know give your explanation why you're doing this and this. Because sometimes we cannot, uh, you know, we cannot uh, expect that when someone uh, scold you, uh, scolding you in, in, in the public, sometimes they are, you know, they are really concerned with what happening. Uh, for example, Morabi, they 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 don't, they, they don't want to see. That kind of things happen uh, in front of 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 him or of, of her. Eh? So that's why maybe because of the sensitivity like eh, that they, they have. So maybe the way they they voice out the, the you know um, they, they they say maybe that in the in the uh, the high volume maybe maybe the misunderstanding there. I think 
we, we can solve this uh, this uh, problem you know um, wisely by you know going back to the uh, morabi uh, uh, explain to them what really hap actually happened and so on so i think we cannot take it as a big issues uh, uh, so and then at the same time we cannot blame each other maybe you know they are a correct in part of uh, apa ni, that morabi's part maybe maybe we also miss uh, you know uh, how to say um, we ad must admit our 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 misconduct also sometimes eh? that's for me eh, i think thank you alfadil ustaz uh, i agree with you uh, i mean <clears throat> everyone of uh, everyone of us should <clears throat> should observe ourselves uh, when we are being caught of doing such and such, probably the best way is to return back to the one who caught us, so to speak, uh, whether we are doing something which is uh, for us, it is uh, uh, can be explained, eh? explainable, <laughs> but probably because of the situation was very you know, tension, uh, tense at that particular time, for example. And uh, of course we, we uh, we should come to the basis of a way uh, enjoying good and forbidding evil, right? The way that we have to do is by what you call it, uh, you know, in proper way, which means that by hikmah. Hikmah not in the one aspect only, right? Hikmah not necessarily has to say very softly, right? Sometimes uh, high tone also sometimes hikmah, depending on who is the, the one that we are confronting, all right? Uh, I think that is not a big issue as I was that mentioned, but the most important thing is that each one of us is taking care of ourselves and also we do uh, what we're supposed to be, uh, supposed to, be to, to be done. Brothers and sisters, um, I believe that there are a lot of uh, other questions that uh, do wanted to ask uh, our panelists tonight. However, the time is already uh, 10.07. Uh, I think uh, probably um, we can, um, uh, adjourn our meeting for tonight but before that before that before we adjourn finally i would like to uh, give uh, uh, two minutes to each of our panelists to have a uh, what do you call it uh, a kind of conclusion from each one of you so that uh, you can conclude what 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 you uh, think uh, the the role of murabi uh, uh, as uh, uh, the role of be uh, in order to have uh, a good relation between uh, new students as well as the leaders, uh, student leaders. Uh, we start with uh, first uh, Dr. Nick uh, Fadal. You have two minutes. Two minutes. Okay, thank you. Thank you, <laughs> Cik Razi. Actually, I want to thank you. I want to remind myself and remind my dear colleagues, brothers and sisters. Uh, now we are now we are allowed to go to pray and the mosque and the fala and the open now. Okay, please join. Please uh, involve yourself in musala activities and everything. Because the first thing we start from ourselves, we we perform our salah. Because this uh, uh, is our connection with Allah. Anything happen, we have good connection with Allah. And then we, as a pillar of strength, Salah is a pillar of strength. And this is, uh, can drive in or force to lead uh, our daily life with Salah. Especially when we perform it uh, congregationally, especially for the female, uh, for, for the male, I'm sorry. And uh, at the same time, uh, make Al Quran as your best friend. Make Al Quran as your best friend. Uh, BFF for, forever. Okay. And the last one is: if you have, uh, should you have any problem, don't leave your principal or your fellows. Go to, go to them. Kalau apa berlaku yang nak buat nak buat apa ni? Proposal problem, rejected and everything. Please refer to your fellow before principle. Okay, you go to your fellows first, and then if it can, it can, can solve, then go to principle. 
I think uh, that's enough, uh, Dr. Shekhazi. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Nick. Thank you so much for your elaboration as well as your views that you share with us tonight. Thank you so much. Uh, Barakallahu fiqh. Okay, uh, next we, uh, we can have uh, Ustaz uh, Fauzi. Ustaz, uh, yeah. very short advice from short you. One, eh? or okay, uh, Alhamdulillah, in short one, I just want to recite one hadith. Uh, I think every, everyone know about the hadith. Eh? Kullukum ra'in wa kullukum mas'ulun an ra'iyatih. Al-imam ra'in wa mas'ulun an ra'iyatih. Wal-rajul ra'in fi ahli. وهو مسؤول عن رعيته والمرأة راعية في بيت زوجها ومسؤولة أن رغب أن أن رأ أن رعيتها so every one of you is a leader and you shall be asked about those you lead Imam is a leader over the people and shall be asked about them. And a man is a leader of the house and shall be asked about this, uh, his household. A woman is a leader over her children and she, and she shall be asked about them. So as a um, uh, MRC, eh, so you should um, bear these responsibilities uh, towards your, your residence at the Mahalla. So be uh, responsible. Okay, guide, please educate, please guide uh, our our uh, friends at the Mahala as <coughs> well, so that they can, uh, you know, uh, at the end we can uh, have every everyone in, uh, inshallah will be a good Muslim inshallah as uh, mentioned in San Sejahtera because our our university is trying to to produce uh, in San Sejahtera so inshallah uh, by uh, doing or uh, by doing uh, hand in hand inshallah. Uh, we can uh, achieve the goal. Eh? And another one I want to quote also, I want to say, uh, if, you, if your action inspire others to dream more, learn more, do more and become more, you are a leader. So as MRC, uh, you, uh, if your action, uh, action uh, inspire others to, uh, to dream more, so please learn, please gain knowledge about how to be a good leader. And uh, okay, true leaders always practice the three are eh? respect for self, uh, number one, respect for others, and then responsibility for all their actions. Eh? Uh, so you have to practice the three R. Eh? <clears throat> and a true leader is one who is humble enough to admit their yeah, mistakes. So as a leader, as MRC, sometimes we have to admit our, our mistakes if you do the mistakes. Okay. And for to be a quality, uh, to be um, a, a effective lead, leader and a, a, a quality leader. Eh? So number one, the influence. Eh? Influence create a vision of the, of the future. Yeah? Rational strategy to move the vision and ability to motiv uh, motivate a uh, group of people. So we have the residents. So we have to do something eh, to, to motivate our, 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 our friends, our colleagues and the Mahala eh? uh, to, uh, you know, to be uh, uh, good in the future. And also, Respect and popularity. Uh, popularity, not because of you are handsome enough, you are beautiful, but due to character and and good conduct. That's all from me. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum. MashaAllah. Thank you. Jazakallah. Khairan kathira, Fadil Ustaz, for the remarkable remarks. <laughs> all right. And then finally, uh, we would like to have a uh, 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 short note from uh, Al Fadil uh, Ustaz uh, Dr. Amidun, inshallah. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Nick and Brother Pauzi, for the good two messages of uh, profound importance. Uh, I'll just give my practical uh, uh, formula that I'm living uh, with until now. The first is uh, the quotation by Al Banda. Aslah nafsak, wadung gairak. Right. In order to be a dai, to be a leader, you have to make good yourself. Aslah nafsak. If you have any shortcoming, then overcome it. Don't worry about it. That you know this is a shortcoming, your weakness. So overcome it. If it is your strength, then make it stronger. So you aslah nafsak. Then just don't keep it to yourself. You have to. Uh, make da'wah 
and call others to this good. So how do you get, keep yourself going on and on and on? Sometimes you're faced with a lot of problems, right? And Dr. Uh, Dr. Nick mentioned about Ustainu bi sabri wa salah. You have patience and also salah. But the most important thing is that the hadith that Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam was asked by a sahabi, "Kulli qawlan la as'aluhu anhu ghayraka." Say to me something that I will not ask anyone other than you about it. So Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Kul amantu billah summa astaqim." It's very easy. The formula is very easy, but putting into practice is very hard. So I believe in Allah. All of us have said it. Are we on istiqamah? So if we, as leaders, if those who are in the in position, have this istiqamah, then Allah will see, Rasul will see, and the mu'minun will see. The problem with us now, surrounding us, around us, we see people in, in have the responsibility, people in the position of authority, people who has the power. But then there is no istiqamah in them, so this is a problem we are facing right now. So, said as again, three simple formula or two simple formula. You know, make yourself better, make yourself good, call the other people to goodness, and also do istiqamah. Billahi taufiq. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And uh, I would also invite the students and also MRC members since I'm already retired. So banyak lah masa kalau nak sembang. Jadi, you, you can get my phone number, right? From your principal and so on. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum. Sure, sure. Sure. Terima kasih. Uh, Jazakallah khairan kathira to our respected yeah. beloved Datuk Hamidun for sharing with us. And I remember as well hadis Prophet SAW mentioning about uh, istiqamah, Datuk. Qad hmm. syayabat ni huda. Because hmm. in the Surah Al Hud, there is fastaqim kama umirt, which means that it is very, very difficult for us. We never given hope, right? We never uh, what can it uh, stop uh, doing uh, our 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 endeavor, uh, never stop doing good things, uh, never stop helping people, and never stop of reaching the sky in order to help. Our SF and uh, and others. Thank you so much once again to Datuk Hamidun, uh, Doctor Ni uh, Saiful Azizi, Ustaz uh, Fauzi, uh, brothers and sisters, dear participants from uh, Gombak Campus, Kuantan, as well as Pagoh. Uh, Jazakallah khairan kathira to all of you. May Allah uh, shower uh, His blessing to all of us tonight and give Amen. barakah to what we have been doing and uh, get benefit a lot from this uh, from this session inshallah with that uh, ladies and gentlemen uh, let's end by reciting surah al-asri and tasbih kafara assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh wa alaikum assalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh sama-sama Terima kasih Ustaz Fauzi. Terima kasih Dr. Nik.